The cries of help raised by Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, on the day of Ashura didn't die away in Karbala itself. Indeed, it reverberated with greater intensity with the passage of time. Those who weren't present in this physical world, but were yet to come to, had sat la on hearing the Imam, peace be upon him, plea. There is a strong connection between the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, and the reappearance of Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his appearance. In the traditions narrated by Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, as well as in supplications, we find the mention of Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his appearance. Imam Mahdi, too, has often spoken about the afflictions that befell Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. In this article, we will try to make a brief analysis. Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, in the eyes of Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his appearance. Sa'd ibn Abdullah Qumi states that I inquired from Imam Mahdi the explanation of Kaf, Ha, Ya, Ain, Thoth. He said, these are the concealed words with which Allah had forewarned his servant, Zakariya, peace be upon him, and also reiterated it 
to Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. Zakaria, peace be upon him, had requested Allah to teach him the five special names. And Allah had taught him those names through Jibra'il. When Zakaria would take the names of Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, and Hassan, peace be upon them all, then the grief within him would subside. But when he took the name of Hussain, peace be upon him, his sorrow would intensify. One day he implored Allah, O oh Allah, when I take four names, I find rest and inner peace. But when I take the name of Hussain, then sorrow overcomes me and tears start flowing from my eyes. Allah revealed the significance of these words. Kaf means Karbala. Ha refers to the massacre and martyrdom of the chaste progeny. Ya is for the oppressor Yazid. Ain stands for third. And thought is the patience of Imam Hussein. Peace be upon him. On hearing this, Zakaria, peace be upon him, became so anguished that he did not leave his prayer niche for three days. did not allow anyone to come near him, even as he wept incessantly, kept saying, O oh Allah, I am in grief, because calamities will befall on the son of your best creation. O oh Allah, grant me a son who will be a support in my old age, who will be the light of my eyes, who will be my inheritor and my vicegerent. And then he involved me in his misery. Just like how you have involved your beloved messenger Muhammad Mustafa, peace be upon him, in his son's sorrow. Allah granted Zakaria, peace be upon him, a son named Yahya, peace be upon him, and then involved him in his suffering. Yahya, peace be upon him, and Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, were born after six months of pregnancy. <laughs> 